I remember thinking, what exactly is Brexit going to mean? And then that's when you suddenly realise everything that just goes back and forth from the UK to anywhere doesn't exactly. just go back and forth from the UK to the, no. anymore. It literally was a border crossing reappeared again. Hello. Hello. Keep the trucks moving. That was the mantra. Otherwise, you know, cargo would stop, queues would build and there would be chaos. I've been driving for more than 30 years to the UK. Before Brexit, it was part of Euro for Europe and you didn't need extra paperwork to get in England. You just had your CMR and you could go all the way through Europe without places to check. When Brexit hit, it meant that 25,000 trucks which crossed weekly on the channel back and forth, they had to undergo customs procedures. Bacon and chicken. Chicken is in the front, it's frozen, and on the back it's fresh, it's, uh, it's the bacon. It was very time sensitive, especially with perishable cargo, yes. food stuff. You had to be at the fish market in France by the time the fish market opens. We're almost at Dunkirk and we have to line up to check in. Um, could you park just, just behind, just here? Yeah. Okay. Before Brexit, it took us 45 seconds to process a truck at the gate. And this had to be done under a minute in order to keep the trucks moving and the freight moving. We're waiting for the other trucks to uh, be checking in. Automation was the key here. Yeah. The customer had to get this information into our transport system, Velocity, which we then had to send to the relevant customs system in whichever country, and then ultimately ensure the driver gets the final information to let him carry on. But if it doesn't flow, then they get stuck. What time are you on? 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. OK, can you overtake him? Yeah. We had to make it be very user-friendly. It's a complicated process that we had to make very easy and simple to understand. And one example is the driver display that we installed on board of our channel vessels. So if it was green, then they knew that they could exit on the other side of the water. Whether that be France or the UK. We can go. I think the next lane next to us is starting to get off now and then we're off to uh, into England. We managed to make post-Brexit was almost the same as pre-Brexit. It's getting better and better and I think in the future we will see it improve even more.